Hello viewers, welcome to my Jesus and I adventure. As children, we learn how Jesus is involved with us with our everyday activities, and the best part is he loves us so. The story of Mide. In the big, buzzling city of Lagos, Mide was playing football with his friends in the dusty makeshift field when suddenly, amidst the cheers and shouts of the game, he fell hard on his right hand. The pain shot through his arm like a bolt of lightning, and he grimaced as his friends quickly gathered around him. Are you okay, Mide? Tunde, his closest friend, asked with concern etched on his face. Mide winced, trying to move his hand, but the sharp pain made him gasp. I don't think so, he muttered, his voice strained. Without wasting a moment, his friends sprang into action. They quickly tied up his hand with a piece of cloth they found nearby and lifted him off the ground. Amidst their hurried steps and worried whispers, they rushed Made to the nearest hospital. As they navigated through the chaotic Lagos traffic, Made's mind raced with fear and uncertainty. Thoughts of a broken hand, weeks in a cast, and the implications on his schoolwork flooded his mind. But amidst the chaos, a quiet voice of faith stirred within him. Arriving at the hospital, the bustling emergency room greeted them with a flurry of activity. Nurses hurried past, doctors in white coats rushed to attend to patients, and the beeping of machines filled the air. Mead was quickly ushered into a room, his friends anxiously waiting outside. Alone in the room, Mead closed his eyes and whispered a prayer. Jesus, I believe in your healing power. Please, heal my hand. Just then, the doctors entered the room, their faces a mix of concern and professionalism. They carefully examined Meadie's hand, gently unwrapping the makeshift bandage. Their brows furrowed as they discussed amongst themselves, pointing to what seemed to be a misshapen bone on the X-ray. It looks like a break, one of the doctors murmured, shaking his head. But Meadie, in a moment of unwavering faith, quietly held on to his prayer. As the doctors prepared for further tests, Mide felt a warmth envelop his hand. Slowly he opened his eyes to see the doctor's surprised expressions. The bone? It's... it's healed, one of them stammered, staring at the x-ray in disbelief. Mide's heart swelled with gratitude and joy as he realised the miraculous healing that had taken place. Tears of thankfulness welled up in his eyes as he whispered a verse from the Bible that had been on his heart. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Genesis 18.14 Amidst the bustling hospital room and the amazed doctors, Mide knew without a doubt that he had experienced a divine intervention. His faith had been tested and proven, and his hand was whole once more. As he left the hospital that day, Mide's heart overflowed with a newfound faith and trust in the power of prayer and he knew that no matter what challenges came his way, he could always rely on the healing touch of Jesus.